And we're back. All right, let's check out some of these shops around here real fast. Got to be something useful. If you tried to get in this shop before following uh, my directions, uh, you would notice you couldn't get into the uh, shop here. You have to have the Baron key. So now we do. Go on in. Let's see. I'm sure Yang could use some of this right here, huh? Let's see what kind of weapons there are. Probably nothing really good. Well... Let's see what we have here. Uh, Yang was stripped of his equipment, pretty much. And, uh... Doesn't have any uh, extra claw to go with it, so that's unfortunate. Let's see what uh, Tell is working with. Even the Thunder Staff. Got a decent shirt there. Go ahead and give him a silver ring. And um, it should be enough for now to uh, go ahead and bust our way into Baron. Alright, secret passageway. Got a thousand gold right there. Not too shabby. Alright, here's a really, really good place to level if you've gotten behind on your leveling. Everything here is susceptible to lightning. As I uh, mentioned before when we were in a cave with water creatures. So, if you want to level, go ahead. I'm comfortable with where I'm at. I'm just going to grab those three chests there, obviously, and head on around. There's some new monsters in here and stuff like that. No real special attacks, but they, uh, they can be easily killed with your lightning attacks, so. Feel free to blow them up with some electricity and grab a chest here. life there. Come across that just like that. Continue on through the secret passages, which are easily visible. I'm going to skip that chest up there. I'm just going to continue on to uh, Baron. chest here through a secret passage. Seems like every time I speak I get into a random encounter. A save point right up here. Go ahead and uh, use your tent. Whatever you gotta use. And there is yet another secret passageway that's very obvious. Ooh, the ancient sword. Which, if you look at it and compare some stats here with Cecil, it's not very good. It sells for a lot of gold, though. I will show you how to make money off of that later by duplicating items. Oh, 
which also will come in very handy later in the game once you get uh, one of the last swords. We're now in Baron. Just walk around the side since we're obviously trying to be sneaky. Alright. Party's all good. Alright, we're just gonna roll on up in here. Oh, it's Bagan. Oh, he's a good guy. But wait, we have five people in our party. How is he joining? Can't be possible. Well, of course. Told you he was an ass. Does have some moderately strong physical attacks. He also casts Wall, which you have to be extremely careful of. You're gonna wanna kill that main body first. Because if you don't, you're gonna. He, he can uh, regenerate his arms. Still gonna cast twin though. It's gonna get reflected onto one person, but not that much damage. It'll force him to regenerate his arms. I'm gonna go ahead and use Tella to heal up real fast. Which should be extremely easy considering his uh new spell. We cast Berserk on Cecil, and here come the arms back. We give Cecil a little more attack power. Not sure if the wall's worn off of him yet or not, but I'm gonna find out. And it had, and Megan's dead. Pretty simple.